Hey everybody and welcome to the tutorial. My name is Jacob and today we're going to be going over how to sort your images in raw therapy. Now this may not sound like a very engaging subject, but it's actually incredibly important because if you're someone like me who tends to overshoot events, you need a way to categorize and look at your images so that you're only dealing with the right images and not all of the extra stuff. Raw therapy has an incredibly robust sorting system. You can sort all sorts of ways. So go ahead and fire up raw therapy and let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are in raw therapy. And as you can see, I have a ton of images here. And the first thing that we do when we sort images is we can choose how we wanna sort them. We can either user sort them, which is where we add different parameters in order to say which images we want and which images we don't. Or we can auto sort them, which is where raw therapy looks at the metadata of the images and chooses what images to show us based off of the parameters that we set. So let's go ahead and start off with the filter tab over here, and then we'll move into the user defined sorting options. So the first thing in the filter tab is you have to enable it. If you don't enable it, nothing else down here works. So we can filter by aperture, shutter speed, ISO or ISO and focal length. And so if I just go ahead and click this shutter button, you can see that uh, nothing happens. And that's kind of because we have such a wide parameter here. But let's go ahead and change this to something like, uh, I don't know, one over 2000 or 200 and one over two. And now you can see all of these images that pop up. I have uh, all sorts of different images. So I've got JPEGs, I've got .NEF, which is a Nikon image. And I have a .ARW, which is a Sony image. So it's just filtering simply based off of shutter speed. And I can further filter um, if I, let's say, use the aperture and I do an aperture of uh, maybe 3.6 to uh, an aperture of 5.6. And now we can see these images that pop up. So you can filter more and more images based off of these different parameters. And then if I just uncheck them, uh, everything goes back to normal. Next is the exposure compensation. And this is something that I personally don't use a whole lot. I tend to uh, expose based off of the exposure triangle and I, and I don't really compensate that very much. So uh, it's not gonna show up here for me, but if you had different exposure compensations in the metadata of your photos, then those, that would show up here and you could click that and choose. Then we have camera down here. And if I click this, you can see that I have two different cameras. Uh, if I just click on the Sony, once I've checked that on, you can see which pictures were taken with my Sony camera versus uh, clicking on the Nikon, you can see which pictures were taken with the Nikon. And then actually if I shift select, now I've got both selected. So if you have multiple cameras, let's say you have a Canon in here and a Panasonic, and you just want uh, maybe three out of the four cameras pictures, you can shift select those and they will populate accordingly. Then we have lens. As you can see here, I have three different lenses. There's the Meika 85 millimeter, and then the Nikon 18 to 55 and 55 to 200. So again, I can choose based off of the lens. I can select multiple lenses. Let's say that I wanna select this Nikon down here and then this Meika lens up here. If I hit shift and click, it'll select all the lenses. However, if I select one lens and then hold down the option or control key on Windows, and then I can just select two out of the three lenses in non-sequential order. And then finally, we have file type. So we have ARW, JPEG, and NEF. And as you can see, we can sort that way. Again, it's really important to emphasize if you don't turn on the enable metadata filters, and then you turn on something like the lens sort, nothing is gonna happen. You must turn that on and off in order to get results. Now that's the filter tab, and that is unique from these other filters over here. So having this turned on and off does not affect these filters over here. These are the user-defined filters. So I'm gonna start from left to right and just define these. This button right here means no filters are applied. And the shortcut for that is D, that will disable all of your filters. And then we have the star filters, we have the color filters, we have edited images here, and we have exported or saved images. 
And then we have the trash cans, which are images that we have decided to not use. And this first one shows us images inside of the trash can. And the next one shows us images outside of the trash can. And then this shows us images that have the same file name, but have multiple iterations. So if you have a version one, two, or three, but it's all the same file name, this will show that. And then of course, here's the info button. If you wanna get rid of the info, that's easy, but that doesn't have anything to do with sorting, as well as you can increase or decrease the thumbnail size. So I'm gonna leave the thumbnail size right here. And in order to use these filters, you have to first add the parameters to the image. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna, let's say add a two star to this image. I'll go to this one and add a four star. Um, let's go to this image. Let's see, let's do this image down here. And I'm gonna change the color. Let's change this one to red and this one to green. And I can go ahead and use the trash can here and maybe get rid of a few of these images too. In order to show this saved and unsaved, I'm gonna just pop into this image, hit auto levels, and then I'm going to click save. So now that I've added all these parameters, you can take a look and see how things have changed. We have images that have little check marks. Check marks means that something has happened to the image. It essentially means that raw therapy has created a processing profile file for that image. So if I want to see all the images that have currently been edited, I can come up here and I can click this little check mark and you can see all of these images have some editing done to them. Now, if I don't want to see that, I just click this other one, boom, goes back. If I want to see the images that I have saved, I can click this and you can see that all three of these images have been saved out and I can, boom, get rid of that. Finally, if I wanna see the images that I have thrown away, I click this and you can see that this little trash can icon on all of these images has been clicked. And if I wanna see everything else, I can click this right hand images not in trash can and this is all of the images minus the ones that have been thrown away. And then of course I can hit the color here and see which images have been sorted by color. And then I can hit the stars, see which images have the star tag or the star sorting. And then if I wanna go back to no sorting, I just go ahead and click this button, just like we said before. I hope that this tutorial hasn't been too dry for you. I know that image sorting isn't quite everybody's cup of tea. However, I did think it was important. If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please consider liking the video. If you like this content and you want more of it, go ahead and subscribe down below. If you have any comments, questions, or even suggestions of other tutorials, if you have any comments, questions, or even other suggestions of other tutorials, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.